So Allah Almighty overlooks whatever he wants to overlook. But he says, if you've associated partners with me in worship, I don't want to overlook that. He speaks about it in the Quran. Allah says that I may forgive everything. Allah says he does not want to and he will not forgive. Allah does not forgive association of partnership with him. But besides that, he will forgive whatever he wills. Whatever he wills. And therefore, in these verses in Surah Taha, immediately after that, in verse number 82, Allah reminds us, وَإِنِّي لَغَفَّارٌ لِمَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا ثُمَّ اهْتَدَى Indeed, I am the most forgiving. Ghaffar means constantly forgiving, repeated forgiveness. I am forgiving over and over and over again to the one who repents to me. And the one who believes thereafter. You repent to Allah and you believe. You have conviction in Allah. You understand who He is, His mercy. You understand you shouldn't go back to your bad ways and habits. So Allah says, Inni la ghaffar. I am indeed the most forgiving. Liman taba. To the one who returns to me in repentance. Wa amana. And believes. Wa amila salihan. And does good deeds. Thumma tada. And then is rightly guided. So when Allah spoke about the punishment and says the criminals are going to be cast into hellfire, thereafter he says, well, if you don't want to be from among those, here goes. I am most forgiving to those who seek forgiveness. Would you ever be able to go to a court of law and get away by simply saying, I'm sorry, when you've committed a heinous crime? The answer is no. You won't be able to simply say, I'm sorry, I regret what I did. And then you think you're just going to be let off. But in the eyes of Allah, you are let off completely. Not only that, if you've changed your life for the sake of Allah, he says, I'll reward you. I'll give you a reward. I'll convert the bad into good because you quit it only for me. Because you were conscious of the day of judgment. That's the reason. When you were conscious of the day of judgment and you were conscious of your meeting with me and you knew that you are answerable to me, I reward you for everything you've done. May Allah Almighty grant us a beautiful understanding. Do you know that this element of forgiveness is something amazing? Allah Almighty, through His love for us, has allowed us to wipe out what was done. Now, I spoke a little bit earlier about association of partnership with Allah, that Allah will not forgive that. There is a misunderstanding that people have when they're connecting with revelation, believing that Allah doesn't forgive shirk or association of partnership with him, even if a person repents from it. And that's wrong. He will forgive it if you repent from it. But what he means is, if you die and you haven't sought forgiveness for your sins, he may choose to forgive all sins, any sins, besides this one. He doesn't want to forgive this one. That's what he said. It's not up to me, it's up to him. With his mercy, with his forgiveness, with him being the most kind, with him being the most compassionate, he has dictated this and he has decided this, that he wants to do this and doesn't want to do this. That's Allah. So, if a person during their lifetime seeks forgiveness of Allah from the shirk they may have committed, Allah will forgive them. Just like he forgave the companions who were mushrikeen in the past and so many others. But if someone dies and hasn't sought forgiveness from shirk, then that is what is dangerous.